Beneath the vast waters of our oceans lies an ecosystem as important to our survival as the rainforests. Like the great canopies of the Amazon, coral reefs are a symphony of biodiversity. The Coral Triangle in particular is a unique stretch of the Pacific, home to 75% of the world's types of coral and over 2,000 types of fish. In some cases, a single reef is their only home. Without it, some species would be lost forever. Above water, many communities are also dependent on coral reef ecosystems for food and income, as well as protection from storms. But these reefs are in danger. Already 19% of the world's coral reefs have effectively been lost, and 35% more are seriously threatened with destruction. But climate change is not the sole source of destruction. Just as chainsaws level rainforests, fish bombing is decimating our reefs. Every blast like this sets off a chain reaction down below. Fish get hit with the explosive shock waves. The reef around them turns to rubble, and what's left behind has little chance of recovery during our lifetimes, or even this century. Unless this destructive means of fishing is stopped, the damage caused by fish bombing could lead to a significant reduction of coral reef ecosystems, and some may never recover. That's why Stop Fish Bombing has a simple goal, to prevent bombers from bombing again. Blast fishing is illegal in every country where it happens. Even when marine areas are designated as protected, the question remains, how do you actually protect them? Detection is the missing link needed to protect our reefs that support coastal communities. We need your support to fulfill this mission. At Stop Fish Bombing, we've developed blast detection systems, harnessing technology from ShotSpotter. Research shows that when a blast goes off underwater, it sets off sound waves that radiate over 20 times farther than they do in the air. Our integrated reef protection system uses a network of underwater microphones called hydrophones, which are either fixed location or mobile sensors that capture the exact time and angle of arrival for each blast sound. When at least three sensors catch what sounds like a fish bomb, we triangulate its location and notify local law enforcement, who find and intercept the fish bombers using radar with a high-resolution camera, patrol boats, and drones to visually identify and track the boat and possibly the fish bombers. This means governments will have a better chance to stop fish bombing as it's happening. Fish bombing occurs in many tropical reef areas around the world. It's a severe problem, not just in the Coral Triangle, but also on the east coasts of Africa and Central America as well. A comprehensive solution to protect the coral reefs is needed, which is why we're pooling expertise and technology from teams in Australia, the US, Mexico, and Malaysia to support detection and enforcement efforts to eradicate this practice. Fish bombing not only destroys coral reefs and marine life, but it also severely impacts local communities. People practice fish bombing for different reasons. Some do it to provide income for their families, while others do it as a hobby. But it is commercial fish bombers who repeatedly invade coral reefs, and with four to five or even 10 other boats to blast schools of fish, often over coral reefs, that cause the most damage. The support of a mothership enables these commercial fishermen to cause damage further into the reef. First-hand accounts from locals tell us that these groups also terrorized their communities and called them lawless warlords who took their food and land. For the past two and a half years, we've monitored blasts from two integrated reef protection networks on the eastern Malaysian coast of Borneo. Our data has proven to authorities the problem is far worse than previously thought. Fortunately, now we have tools to stop it. But enforcement is just one part of the solution. Through apprehensions and detections, we've been able to locate sources of blasting material and shut down major suppliers. By partnering with several NGOs and local communities, we're empowering local fishermen with more sustainable practices while working to apprehend commercial fish bombers. Our work does not stop here. The future of our reefs and coastal communities depends on both continued support and new partnerships as fish bombers adapt to new methods of detection, we must also develop new technology to put an end to this practice. 
Funds are needed to improve the current protection system with the integration of radar, drones, infrared cameras, and covert mobile sensors. We seek to invest in engineering to reduce costs of capital in operations and to develop other modes of deployment, such as boat-mounted and mobile mounts and clandestine self-submerging detectors. With additional support, we hope to deploy our integrated reef protection system with other Coral Triangle countries, expanding our reach and impact. This work is critical and your investment will have a lasting impact. We know how to monitor and protect our reefs and support coastal communities, but we need your support to fulfill our mission. Together, we have an opportunity to save the reefs before it's too late. Join us.